Hey everyone, welcome to Never Went With Our Gun. In this video, I'd like to go over the new weapon sets for the new Module 22. Now, we don't know everything just yet because we do have a new trial down the line, the Crown of Keldegon, which should be releasing 18th of January. That'll be just next week, Tuesday. And that potentially should have a new weapon set if we follow the trend of previous modules which had a trial. For example, the trial of Zariel had the Celestial set, whereas your Tower of the Mad Mage had your Lionheart set. So undoubtedly, we should most likely obtain a new set for the new trial. So with that aside, the new weapons that we can obtain right now, we can see within the collections, are these weapons. Now this bottom set here, you can simply obtain at your nearest seals vendor. You can see here on the first page with seals of the north, you'll be able to pick up that set there with those seals. Now to obtain seals of the north can be somewhat challenging for newer players since you're going to have to be grinding out the latest random queues the trial queue will give you 50 and the advanced dungeon queue will give you 80 there that's the bonus that's with the daily bonus they'll give you that many seals there and after i believe they give you less or they may even just give you these seals of the wild and then unfortunately you can see with the heroic encounters in this new area they also only give seals of the wild so it would be quite a grind to get your full weapon set for the seals and in my opinion it's much easier to obtain the other set this set bonus from this seal set all it's going to give you is a bonus to your roll and forte just of three percent so if you're a dps that's three percent power and three percent forte which totals to 4.5 percent power and then like 0.75 percent to your other offensive stat now the other set looks a little bit worse the antique set and you'll obtain this just through the treasure map system where you'll go and locate your dragon sight artifacts interacting with them it'll give you a beacon you make your way over to it and you dig up your treasure and if we're lucky we can even obtain one of these artifact weapon caches which very nicely gives you your entire weapon set and you can even obtain it for a different character you can see we have all of the classes right there and we can get again go and claim another rogue pack and we've opened a lot of these treasures and yeah we got a lot of these packs and there you go we get our full weapon set there again so we can simply just discard these ones now these weapons you can use from the get-go but i don't exactly recommend doing so as we'll just go and slot them in here can see they'll become bound then otherwise they're just bound to your account and you can see just looking at the tooltip that whenever you use an encounter power you have a chance a 10 percent chance to gain a four percent bonus to your roll and as a dps that's just going to be four percent recharge speed that's terrible four percent recharge speed is nothing looking at our enchantments we can see a mythic enchantment gives five percent recharge speed in a way i would only run these weapons if you're a new player and literally have no other weapons you can pick up that is going to be easily the item level will also give you a nice big boost i don't recommend going like buying a lion heart it's a lot of astral diamonds if you want to buy it off the auction house and otherwise you're trying to do your tower of the mad mage but you won't get into there until you've really got your character like to 50,000 item level 60,000 item level and you could even find a group for them what you would want to do then is potentially upgrade these to legendary to give them a much better set bonus we can see that there it's much more extensive so how would we upgrade this well first we have to decide is it going to be worth to go and actually upgrade it so in the campaigns tab you can see within the store you have the ability to spend reagents to get these upgraded to legendary once on legendary we can again have a look at their set bonus there it'll basically give you adventurer's might which will give you a bonus all the time so as a dps it's five percent power and then similarly it has that chance upon an encounter use to increase 
one of your stats. For DPS again, it's the same, it's recharge speed, but at least this time around, it's 7.5% rather than just 4%. We're going to have to kill this guy who thinks he can he can beat us up. Goodbye. So just by looking at this set bonus, we can see that these weapons aren't exactly the best out there. There's definitely better that you could be grinding for. But to obtain them on Epic, this is one of the very easy sets to obtain. And the grind for this one, you might be wondering, how bad is it? Well, again, looking in the campaign store, you're going to have to grind out a lot of different reagents to be able to exchange them for legendary version. And you can see the item level gets increased by another 100. In my opinion, it's a waste of a time grind. So to actually upgrade this gear, you can see all of the reagents you're going to need there. You're going to need a thousand of this Veil supply vouchers. You pretty much get them from completing any of your repeatable quests or even your weeklies and also completing heroic encounters you will also need you can see 50 of these ingots of the north and you can see each ingot it costs 50 so you're going to need 2500 veil supply just to buy 50 of these ingots so that's a total of 5000 just for ingots alone that being if you want the full set since we're basically doubling this amount of reagents. Then you're going to need 25 of the Dragon Bone Veil alloy. And you'll just get that by, again, doing your Dragon Sight artifacts and digging up the treasure. You have a chance to obtain that. And then you'll need 10 of, we can see, this Ancient Dwarven materials. And you'll get those Ancient Dwarven materials by hunting down those mini bosses like this guy here. And once you kill them, you have a chance to give you those dwarven materials so that's going to be a bit of a grind again to get 20 of those and lastly you'll need of course your weapon set we can see you need the antique ones there both of them then you can exchange for either or so now i'd like to answer the question of do they have weapon modifications let's claim the offhand there there we go it's on legendary in our inventory you can have a look at it and we can see it's bound to our characters to so make sure you're grinding this on the character which you want them now if we go and let's say equip it see it's been removed from our character because we've upgraded it and we can have a look and it has no weapon modifications now previously other weapon sets like let's say the lion heart you can see we have modifications we can get a buff to one of our at wills like 10 percent buff to a duelist flurry that was pretty good on a rogue and for the offhand you'd have your two sections of modifications here you would have like action point gain recharge speed control bonus you can read them all there and then in the second section you could get 2500 of a certain stat and with weapons losing that big bonus in my opinion it makes them even worse to be using. You can see we don't have a set now from either of them because we only upgraded one and not the other. And this grind is insane. In my opinion, I do not recommend it for anybody. If you're stuck without some decent weapons, just sure, you can slot in those antique ones on purple, but do not spend the time trying to get them upgraded. Even if you want, let's say, the fashion on them, they look no different from epic to legendary. So that's a little bit disappointing there. So there's zero incentive to get them upgraded at all. But if we have a look through, let's say the artifact equipment, there are quite a lot of sets out there, but many are pretty lengthy to grind. So sets that are easy to obtain, like your Legion Guard, you can see they only give you a small bonus and you need a full party to actually gain five stacks of let's say power and combat advantage to give you that extra boost in damage and otherwise your hellfire engine one is pretty useless then we go to weapons of under mountain like the lionheart sure but you'll never be getting that as a new player you'll never be getting into the tower of the mad mage and you don't really want to spend astro diamonds that many just for the set and otherwise there's the watcher set you could get it from the pack in the send market the upgrade pack where you instantly get to level 20 however i wouldn't recommend that it does give a decent chunk of stats otherwise there's the alabaster which is decent i guess however it's not good for 
boss fights whatsoever and otherwise you're looking at older and older sets which will still be pretty annoying and challenging to grind like your Barovia sunsets and then your weapons of Chult go even way back and you have to do like your tyrant hunt to get those otherwise there is the mirage ones which many people have been running around and they're still pretty good for most classes so check out some builds and if they suggest the mirage then you could go in that grind for your weapons instead within the river district so overall my recommendations for newer players is yes indeed to get the set that you get for seals of the north this grand set this grand alliance set will basically give you the benefit of just over five percent offensive stats you can see it's giving you three percent as a dps to your power plus three percent to your forte and forte is divided up between 50 percent 25 percent and 25 percent and thus 75 percent of 3% is 2.25 so just over 5% total offensive stats from this set and then you'll get the same then as a tank for survivability and for a healer you'll get the same then for your healing so in my opinion this Grand Alliance set is not bad at all for new players and it's a very easy set to obtain just will require you a bit of grinding for those seals and otherwise make sure to do your, your daily treasures and you could pick up the set from these dragon weapon caches again we've already gone through them and you can see that unfortunately the bonus is even worse than what you could get with the seals but you could upgrade them my opinion don't you'd be better off saving that grinding time for something like the mirage instead so overall hopefully this is somewhat insightful as to how to actually get this set to upgrade it and my opinions on whether it's worth it or not so again i'd like to give a massive thank you to all of my channel members for helping me keep my channel going and if i present this well consider leaving the video a like if you're new around here consider subscribing we'll see you guys around goodbye for now